in four weeks to your best life, what will happen is you will begin to think differently about everything, about yourself mainly. And because it's always about perceptions that we hold. Sometimes we learn them from our families, from our friends or family, teachers, schools, whatever it might be. Um, and then we start to hold on to them. And usually they're limiting things, meaning we've been taught something when we were younger, it's holding us back, and we haven't even figured out why it's doing that because we have interpreted things in a particular way. So we get to change that because everything is about perception. The way that you choose to perceive any experience that you're moving through, including your perception of you. And sometimes we have trouble with that. And I had so much trouble with this one, but I'm going to give it, uh, I'll explain it a little bit. It's about preferences. You are entitled to your preferences and you would do well to seek to know them and follow them. While that might seem at first like a simple task, it can cause you difficulty at times because you have confused some of your preferences with judgments. I worked through this so much and I want you to understand this. When I was um, coming about, and many of you might have had this, we sometimes find it difficult to leave what our families might have done in their life. You know, we come into the world to do what is right for us. But sometimes we might get stuck because we're looking at what our parents did. We should be doing what they did. Or maybe people are telling us that this is what we should do. We have, we, all of us kind of had that because our parents thought that they knew everything that we should be doing. So they told us. And you may have come about feeling like, no, I don't think that's what I want to do. But then you couldn't get over that because you couldn't even talk to your parents about it because you thought that maybe you would be judging them if you told them what you believed what you felt about yourself or where you were um, feeling inspired to move to. You have to change the perception of that. It's not a judgment. You've chosen a preference. That's very different. A preference means that it's something that you want. And most times what I find, what I found with me and what I find with most of my clients is that we have not given ourselves permission to want what we want. And many times that's because we've been holding on to ideas that we inherited. I mean, that we inherited from our families, our parents or ancestors, whatever it might have been. But we're supposed to move beyond that. But we get stuck. Changing this, when I came to understand this one, and I'm, I'm, again, you're not going to do all of this within the four weeks, but you're going to have the tools to be able to move through it because it took me some time. When I started to understand it, I would go back and let me look at my choices. Let me look at why I might have done that. Did I make this choice because it's what I wanted? Or was I not empowered enough to even know what I wanted? That's what you'll find out because many times, and this is when I'm doing my work and when I'm doing my life purpose work, what I find more times than not is that my clients are sitting there with this idea a vision of what they want to do, but they can't even say it, you see, because they program themselves out of even believing that it was possible, even believing that they could do that. And what we find is then we start changing some of the judgments that they think they're holding and make them preferences. They say, oh, wow, that feels a lot better. It's just a matter of changing a perception, you see. So I think I, if, I, if I understand that I am the person who deserves to have the life that I want to have, then my preference is I'm going to own them. I'm not going to be afraid of them. And that's really where um, people come to as we move through this work. And you will as well. You have a preference and that preference is to do what you were born to do. And it's different for every single person. And it's valuable what you have.